that's free now. Thank you, thank you freedom. Yes. She oh. was free from oh. nothing like that. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh, hi. Woo! Give me the knuckles. Oh, I did get him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she got him good. Nice <laughs> fish, guys. Nice fish. Still power trolling. Yay. Sweet. We'll put Woo. him in the box. Lucy, Daddy got another one. Yeah, I know. Howdy guys, Kel Kellogg here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and you'll always know when I'm on here talking about trout fishing. Now, as you can tell from that footage early in this video, I am catching some very nice fish for my clients, pulling plugs. We're pulling plugs early, say for the first hour to 90 minutes of the day. They've been pretty effective. Um, sometimes I'm pulling minnow plugs, mostly Yoziris, once in a while a, uh, a Rapala. Um, I'm also pulling my speed shad, like that white speed shad right there, and I'm pulling mag lips. Now, I got a viewer question from a guy named Ron Sheever down in Concord, California, and he wants to know how I rig up for pulling, you know, various kinds of plugs. He said minnow plugs, but, you know, the rigging is all the same for all the different kinds of plugs I fish, and it's also the same rigging that I use when I'm pulling spoons. Let me show you how it works. I've got the main line of the rod coming down. I put on a bead. Um, that's to prevent the swivel from being reeled up into the eye of the rod. And it also, you know, gives me a visual indicator when I'm trying to net a fish and there's a lot of, you know, glare on the water. I can always see where that leader to line junction is right there. So put on a good sized plastic bead, um, put on a bathtub chain style trolling swivel and attached to that, I've got a loop right here. I've got eight to 10 pound test fluorocarbon leader material. I've got anywhere from 40 to 48 inches of that leader material. I bring that all the way down to a cross lock snap, not a snap swivel, just a cross lock, you know, locking snap right there. I tie that on via a Pelomar knot and then I attach the lure using that snap. Um, that gives the lure freedom of motion. It also allows me to change lures very quickly. That's how I rig up my spoons. That's how I rig up my plugs. I like to keep it simple out here on the FHS guide boat. Um, I tie up a bunch of leaders, I store them in my tackle box. Every rod, whether it's a lead core rod or a top lining rod like this or a downrigger rod, they're all rigged up the same way. They've all got the bead, they've all got the trolling swivel. We run everything off of there. Um, I put on the leader, I choose a spoon, I choose a plug, and I'm fishing. If I want to use a dodger, I connect my dodger to the trolling swivel and then put whatever kind of leader I think is required you know, behind that dodger. Hope that clears things up for you down in Concord, California. I will catch you guys next time right here on YouTube. And if you want to learn trout fishing firsthand while fighting some big old beautiful trout up here at Collins Lake, go on over to fishhuntshoot.com. Book your trip now because March and April are going to be absolutely epic out here at the lake. I'm getting tongue tied, guys. I'm out of here. I'm on the troll. I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube. Thanks for all the support.